At 11, one woman is dead, another in the hospital. This after a fatal car collision. It happened around 5 o'clock this evening at the intersection of Chestnut and Clayton. That's in Fresno County. The CHP says one of the drivers ran a stop sign at that intersection. And now a neighbor is speaking out, saying he has been warning law enforcement about this intersection for months. CBS 47's Bailey Miller is live from Community Regional Medical Center with more on the victim's condition. Bailey. The surviving woman in this crash is here at CRMC. She's recovering from a broken leg and other injuries, but part of this crash did end up in front of a man's home. He says he's been warning law enforcement about this, saying the two-way stop is too dangerous, it's too dark, and that something like this would happen. That's exactly what I've been what I've been uh, telling these people that somebody's going to get killed out here. That's exactly what happened here. Juan Preciado watching the cleanup after a deadly three-way crash ended up in his front yard on Monday night. He says it's not the first time. That's a two-way stop, and then you can't see that. The car's colliding, knocking over his front fence. CHP says a woman in her 70s ran the stop sign, hitting the car with a woman in her 50s in the intersection. Both of the cars ended up hitting this Mercury, an abandoned car parked outside of Juan's house. The woman in her 70s was killed. The woman in her 50s was taken to the hospital with injuries. I always drive with caution, especially when it gets dark um, out in Fresno County and any, any intersection area, um, even if you have the right of way. Take the time to look both ways. Juan says the abandoned car has been out in front of his house for several weeks and he's been calling the sheriff's department and CHP to come pick it up. You know, that's a car that didn't have to be involved. See what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that that's exactly what caused the accident. I think it didn't, but the other two cars slamming into it didn't help their cause. And Juan is hoping this terrible accident will bring some change to this dangerous intersection. It'd be nice to see a four way stop. And CHP is still investigating this crash. What exactly caused it? They say they're still investigating if it was drug or alcohol related or if it was distracted driving. Live from CRMC, I'm Bailey Miller, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.